The San Angelo Fire Department's Emergency Medical Services Coordinator likens the new heart monitors in San Angelo ambulances to cable television. Previously, SAFD paramedics were limited by monitors that offered just one to three views of the heart, much as broadcast TV offered only 12 channels. Today, the new monitors boast of a dozen views of the heart during a cardiac event. As importantly, the monitors more accurately diagnose what's happening within the heart and wirelessly transmits that information to hospitals. That dramatically reduces the time before a patient gets potentially life-saving care. Being able to read an EKG well prior to the patient arriving in the ER allows us to activate the cath lab for any STEMI or acute uh, heart attack and have the cath lab ready and waiting for the patient and not have to stop through the emergency room, just go straight through the cath lab and get the patient taken care of. San Angeles Fire Department already bests the national average of 90 minutes for getting a heart attack patient to a hospital. The local average is 50 to 55 minutes, which includes all of Tom Green County. The faster diagnoses yielded by the new monitors and the seamless transmission of that information will slice that time even further. In some cases, patients will bypass the emergency room and go directly to a waiting cardiologist in a catheter lab. Well, time is of the essence. What we say is time is muscle. The more time you have a blockage and oxygen not getting to the heart, more heart muscle dies. And that increases mortality. I don't know exactly how much time we can cut off. 55 minutes is pretty, is pretty slim. Uh, but I think we can cut that transport time off, which our average is about 10 minutes. Uh, so if we cut it down to 45 minutes, uh, we've done a great service to that patient, I think, the community as a whole. The new monitors also serve as defibrillators that can administer shocks automatically or manually by a paramedic. They also measure the effectiveness of a paramedic's chest compressions, directing the first responder to push harder or lighter, and they list which drugs to administer to a patient. It really gives us uh, a lot of data that we didn't have 10 years ago. 10 years ago was just push on them, breathe them, and, and kind of hope for the best. The monitors were purchased with a $200,000 grant from the San Angelo Health Foundation. San Angelo Community and Shannon Medical Centers also contributed $15,000 donations. Eight ambulances have been equipped with the heart monitors, including the five that are always the first to respond to medical calls. The remaining three are in reserve ambulances assigned to the busiest fire stations. City officials are pursuing a grant that would fund one more monitor. Since acquiring the monitors, paramedics have not yet encountered a heart attack victim, but they've thoroughly tested the monitors, knowing that's just a matter of time. Oh, it's very effective. The, the EKGs that we've gotten so far have been perfect and uh, good quality, easily read, and uh, it, it, it should work just fine. I'm sh sure it will save lives in the future. That's what it's designed to do. So the hospitals have had a lot of dry runs uh, to see how their system's gonna react. Uh, I think we're setting ourselves up uh, for when that happens. It's not if, it'll be when. Uh, when that happens, it'll be a, a, a very seamless, positive, uh, productive uh, type of encounter that in the end, it's gonna benefit the patient.